Hey everybody, welcome back to another video with your guys your keyboard guy. I know I took a little break, but um I'm back and um I'll be off of work actually in a couple weeks and I'll be making so many tutorials so you guys will have a summer full of wonderful tutorials. But uh today's lesson is gonna be on a song entitled Half of You by uh Brownstone. So um this song is being um um was requested by my subscriber Isaiah. Thank you for the donation, my friend. And um, we will get into this. Um, like I know already, I um, gonna play it through a little bit. So I'm gonna break it down, break it down. So let's um, let's look at this song. That's most of the song. The only other part um, of the song is like they do like the um, modulation, and um, they just pretty much because the verses I think they do like four verses overall. The song is after the first verse. The first verse got a little change on it, but the um, the rest of the verses um, is really the same exact theme. And then um, you know when they go back to the other song. play through the rest of the song. So let's get into it. Okay, so you're starting off this song with um like the guy's doing like some fancy stuff, but essentially he's just playing like different chords over the C, the C. So just you can literally do it like this. You can just literally do that and uh, it'll be cool. He's like doing whatever he's doing, like I don't know. So I'm gonna teach it to you how how I hear it. Um, like you know me, cause I you know I try to keep stuff simple. Cause a lot of times when people kind of like ad living, having fun, doing their own thing, like that's just them exp you know going off of their own you know skills. But essentially, he's just playing a C chord. Um, so on this first chord, I got um, and the melody is so it's gonna be like a D G A B to C. So. And he 
he does you could do that melody um you know he usually does it on off that c chord okay something like that and then he might do it again You know, just having fun with it, but um, essentially, it's not too bad. So anyway, so first chord, um, I got the melody, okay, and then we're gonna do. So we're gonna be doing like a C major seven sus. So it's gonna be like a C and a G. You got D, G, B, okay. Then we're just gonna do the D and the. D and the um, G, and remember we still got the C and G in our left hand. Okay, and then we're gonna end with uh, then we're gonna do a do the C and G in the left hand, we're gonna do A and D in our right. Um, okay. Do the, the line again, you know, if you want to, and then the next uh chord is gonna be uh, I don't want to do this. Let me see, and then we're gonna do this type of chord, uh, um, and I'm gonna show you because, like, literally in the intro, they don't do this pass, but they do it every other time, so I'm just gonna show it to you now. So they go to from this um this B in the bass. You got A, D, and G in the right. And you just do um hit that one time. And then we're gonna do a, a F in the bass. And you literally play the same chord. So watch this. Watch this. Okay. So so you got the A D G with the B in the bass. And then you go to the F bass. F six nine chord, okay, A D G, and then we're gonna do a D flat over E. So you got A D F sharp or D um, a D major. I'm sorry, D major triad. We're just doing it in this inversion, A D F sharp with the E in the bass. So E non sus, okay. Um, yeah. So and the good thing is I'm teaching you this. The intro is essentially the chorus too. So um for the most part it's uh it's pretty similar so um uh, okay so we're at right now and then we got this b flat 913 so you got b flat a c d g Okay, and then you're gonna go this A minor seven, A E in the left, G C E in the right. Okay, and then you keep the same right hand chord, and you go to a D in the bass. So you got a D nine sus four, and then you go to from this. You got a C major with a G in the bass. So you got like a C major six with a G. So it's basically an A, a minor seven chord with a G in the bass. Okay. Or you could do like the, you could do that. I like, I, I hear this on top. It's really like a, like a G13, but um, you could just do it like this and it's, you don't got to stretch from the F. Okay. So, um, so you, you do it like this. Okay. A, C, E, G with a G in the bass. Um, where was I at? So, let me see. Right there. Okay, that's where we're at. And then we got this chord. 
a lot of crazy chords in this, bro. <laughs> so I'm trying my best. So you got C sharp seven, uh, sharp nine, no fifth. So you got F. You got F. Um, F, B, and E. And you're right. Then you got C sharp in your bass. And then we back at the top of that. That that's the whole turnaround. So, uh. Back at the top. Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, do that again. Same thing. Same thing. Okay. I mean, and they, they do like little licks in, in between it. I mean, it, it'll take me forever to get all these licks in, but something like that they do, like B, C, G off of that A minor. The A minor seven. Sometimes they'll, uh, they'll he'll do. That's just basically B C G, and then he'll do something like, and he's like like um, off of that um, this chord. He's like doing some melody, like um, going from G to A to B. Uh, so like. Something like that. So it's like a D over uh, C major seven, C E G B, and he's just like you know using the C chord, then walking up to A to the B, and then you got the sus. Okay. Um. So you got the G sus. So G D in the left, and you got G C and D in the right, and then you just bring the C down to G to resolve it. So. Something like that. And then got the C over D. So the D non sus to take into the verse. Okay? So verse starts with the G. Real simple. G, B, D with a G in the bass. And then the thumb on your right hand and the bass moves down to F sharp. Uh, sorry. Then we go down to an F sharp. So we got, uh, I'm sorry. We got the G triad and then... Um, you go down to the D over F sharp. So you got F sharp, A, and D. F sharp and the bass. So G triad, and then you got F sharp, A, D, and F sharp. And then you got a C over E. E bass, G, C, E. Okay, and then you got a C minor over E flat. So you got G, C, E flat, E flat and the bass. So G major. E over F sharp, E over C, and then C minor over E flat. So it's the verse. Repeat it. Now the second time. They go to this A sharp, this A over C sharp. Okay, so A, C sharp, E with a C sharp on the bass, and then they do this little walk up. So they got a B in the bass with an A and an E flat. Then you got a B and E with a C sharp. Let's see how do I want to do it? How was I playing it? Uh, Okay, I do it like this. 
I forget how I was playing it because I do this. I'll do it like that, okay. So you got the B in the bass, A, E flat. Then you got the C sharp in the bass, you got B and E. And then you're gonna do a uh, E flat bass with a B chord, B, E flat, and F sharp. Okay. Then we're gonna land on that E minor, B, E, G, E to B. So. Okay. And then we're gonna do that chord we learned earlier. Do that chord we did. Um, so you got A, D, and G over B. We learned this chord earlier, if you remember. Then we're gonna go to this uh, A7. G, C sharp, E with A in the bass. Uh, where were we at? Um, yep. And then we got this A minor 7. Now the first time, it's the only time they go to this chord I'm about to show you. So they go from A minor 7, A, G, C, E. A in the bass to the B minor seven B A D F sharp, um, and then they go to this real nice E sus A B E with an E in the bass, and then they walk the bass down E flat to D, and then they do the D not sus, and then they go back to the top. Then I use these, this passing chord to get back to the G. So you got A flat, um, seven, flat five, flat A flat, F sharp, C, and D. A lot of crazy chords, y'all. So just bear with me. Then we back at the um, the uh, verses again. So this, this, this is the only time they play this verse uh, with that extra ending. I'll show you again. Again. Just to end it right here. All right. Don't forget about that half step. Back to the, the G. Now, um, every other verse pretty much is played the same from this point. So you got the same thing. You repeat it. Same thing. You already learned this, all this stuff. Every other ending for the verse is going to be. Learned these first two chords. Now, now we go to this. Now we go to this C major nine. So you got C in the bass, B, D, E, G. Okay. And then you got this half step. This C sharp diminished. So you got uh, you got this B flat, C sharp, E, and G with a C sharp on the bass. And then we're gonna go to the D non sus four. So all the other endings of the verses. Alright, so uh Okay. And then you got that chord. And then you go back to that uh, um, this chord to take you back, I guess, to the chorus. And the chorus is pretty much what I already taught you in the intro. So go through the chorus. This is the pickup to get to the chorus. Um, it's kind of hard to go to that melody, so let me see. Then like where you would go, boo do 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 do. We would do that. It's just do. That's they play this chord off of that. 
So you can't do them both because you you don't got a bass player, so you got to play the bass. So, and then do we back at that? Uh, back at this at this thing. What is it? Uh, what I show you? Back at this point. Okay, back at this same thing. We already learned this. We already learned this. Now you could you could even do that on that C. You can even just play the same chord if you want to. You don't gotta keep going. You know uh, what is it? You don't gotta keep doing that. You literally could go. Play that C major nine three times um, if you want to change it up. It's already showed you the C major nine. This is the chord. You just play it three times. And then you go to the other one. Okay. Same thing. And then the second part. Same thing. change that little ending a little bit on the chorus and go when they go oh, half of you. they do the sus the same sus i showed you the g sus but then they'll do like a c minor over g so instead of going and it's gonna resolve it from the c to the b to your g naturally they'll, they'll do the c minor before they resolve it so okay g c e Okay, so um, essentially that's like 95% of the song. Um, the only other change is when they modulate, um, they do a couple different things. So, um, and they usually modulate from the, um, I think they modulate from the end of the, I think the fourth verse. So, you know, the guys is when the man is taking the lead and, um, you know, they're doing the same thing, whatever, all this stuff. And then, you know, we'll do this again. And then they just um I guess you could just do um let me see how do I want to do it let's do it like that because we'll just do it the same way how we did let me do it like that so we'll do. D flat, let me change the key. It's never going to be, and it comes in like when Amel does the his verse is when it comes in, and we're going to the key of A flat. Okay. So, got this. Um, we'll do it like this. Yeah. D flat major nine. So, you got C, E flat, F, and A flat. And then we're going to do... Um, Oh, um, how do I want to do this? Mm. No. Yeah, oh, at least I'll do it like that. All right, so got the D flat major nine, C, E flat, F, E flat. And then you got the D diminished, D in the bass, B, D, F, A flat. And then we got the E flat nine sus. So, so you got the first one is dun, dun, it's the other key. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, then we take it up. Okay, and then they do a break, but essentially it's the same chord structure. They're just doing it now off of um, D flat. So we just do our D flat nine. I'm gonna show you the chords. Um, all right, so this is gonna be um, so we got the D flat nine, F, A flat, C, and E flat, okay, three times, and then we're gonna go down to uh, uh, we're gonna do this um. 
Um, a flat major add two. So you got C in the bass, you got B flat, E flat, and A flat. And then we're gonna do the same move and watch this. So you got the this chord, this chord right here, and then you're gonna go to the bass of G flat with the same right hand chord, the same idea we did in the other key, just a different key, and then the F9 sus, so B flat, E flat, G, and F in the bass. So, okay. Okay, and then we got, um, got this chord, this F7, sharp nine, sharp five, so you got the F in the bass, A, D flat, E flat, and A flat. Then you got the B flat minor seven, B flat in the bass, A flat, D flat, F. And then we got the same right hand chord, you go to E flat bass. Okay. Then we got this. Okay. So you got this D flat major. So you got pretty much an A flat with a B flat minor seven in your right hand. B flat, D flat, F, E flat. Okay. Okay. So where's we at? Um, what was it? That uh, that nice chord again. Remember last time we did it was on this key, so now we got to do it on this key. So it's gonna be. Oof. Oof. So it's gonna be a G flat C and F over D. So D in the bass, G flat C and F, and then it's gonna take us back to the top. With the D flat. So. They go, um, okay, so, um, so to end it out, um, they just go, um, you know, so you're right here, okay, okay, you already learned this, okay, learn this, and then they go, um, let's do this half step, this E diminish. B flat, D flat, E, G with an E, and then we go to this F minor seven, A flat, C, E flat, and A flat. Okay, and then they kind of do this C over E, which we learned, and then they do this E flat triad, and then they go D over B. So, uh. F minus seven, E over C triad, E flat triad, and then a D bass with a B flat chord, F B flat D with a D in the bass, and then they just go um, um back to the B flat minor seven, then E flat in the bass, same right hand chord, and they end it with the A flat. And then they do the D flat over E flat, back to A flat. A flat, C, E flat, then F, A, D flat, and back to the A flat. So it's whole part.
All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that lesson. I'll be loading you up today. So look forward to the next however many I'm going to put out today. Maybe five, maybe six, maybe a thousand. I don't know. But like, share, subscribe, show your boy some love. Catch your keyboard, guys. Signing off. Peace.